Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is John Hawkins with Miller Industries. Today we're going to take this brand new M100, go into the great state of Texas and do three of the key points for the design criteria of that M100. That's traveling under load, extending under load, running that boom up and down under load. And we're going to take Mike uh, Frazier today on the controls and we're going to bring those three critical shots to you. So one of the things that we really concentrated on in the crit right from the beginning in the design criteria of the M100 was to be able to travel the whole 143 inches while under load. And as a matter of fact, if we had to stop during that process and start again, we were able to do that. So what we're doing right now is we're basically just traveling with this 44,000 pounds. And as we're doing that, we're running the boom up, running the boom in and out, trying to show you that. We're gonna run one continuous loop completely around there. So next criteria was the two extension cylinders in there. That was the first with the M100, being able to run that boom in and out under load. You know, giving you that additional reach, getting you over that fence, lifting that 285,000 that we're gonna show you in one of the pictures that we did with Mr. Petrov trucks lifting that transporter, where you can take the back end of that trailer and, and lift it up and go around that you know, into that 90 degree road and avoid the creek or the ravine that might be there in, in infecting that transport load of that 285,000. The other thing is, is we're getting up there with boom elevation. You know, he's gonna show you another picture of lifting some 80,000 pound uh, transformer over a fence uh, down in Florida, power and light. And then you've got to have that cylinder power in order to be able to do what they did, which was to raise that load up and over the fence in order to make that transfer. So those three critical things, boom extension with the two cylinders inside the boom, boom elevation with the two large elevation cylinders being able to push the weight that the unit's designed for. But the key thing is the traveling. And you're seeing the traveling again right now, going from 143 inches from the back of this unit to the front, we don't have to do the loads all the way at the back. We don't have to represent that stability of being right between the two goalposts, so to speak, of this M100 in order to make this unit be able to go around the corners. We're lifting this 44,000 pounds, 22 tons. We're doing it at a radius of 30 feet and we're as we're moving it. So plenty of room with that tractor trailer getting around the side. Now, and a couple other things going to give you some quick shots of those Hillman rollers. We're going to talk about those rollers or show you how those rollers actually work and then the, the key design in, in the M100. Notice that quick motion back and forth that uh, Mike was doing right there. No hesitation to this unit. We're looking at a dead idle. Uh, we've picked 105,000 pounds with the Jeff Chambers unit looking with that Komatsu dozer or the ripper blade on the back. It's a picture of showing it right now. So, yeah, 100,000 pounds around this corner, but this is real world right here, 40, 45, 50,000 pounds, what that tractor trailer is going to be carrying with a single item on the deck. And as you see, no issues with that traveling of the 143 inches with this load on here. Stability on the outriggers, that was another key thing, taking those outrigger posts and extending them, making it 300 inches of overall reach, best in class in its industry. You know, one other thing on the M100 is the storage facility that we've put into this unit. Getting the boxes taller because the depth was limited with the large travel base on here, we're able to cover a large pond of rigging, which we did in an earlier video showing all your screw pin shackles, all your rigging, all your straps, all your flat straps, all your chains, all your bridles, the spreader bars, all of those things that's necessary for you to do and carry in order to get that job complete. No extra box to get in and out of the way, just nice boxes with all that storage ready for you to grab that tool to make the job easier. Remember, and contaminant on the rail, snow, ice, frozen, this is going to travel under load, no problem as we've been doing back and forth. No worry about travel pads or brass pads getting hot or warm. No worry about any form of lubrication to what you're seeing right here. So in closing from this short video, I want to emphasize these three parts. Traveling that 143 inches, boom extension with the dual extension cylinders inside there, 
and being able for this boom to lift that 40 to 100,000 pounds. You know, this unit just works. It travels with the load. It lifts the load. It winches the load. Nice and quiet, normal operation, three functions at a time, not a problem. Hope you enjoyed this short little clip with the M100, and we look forward to seeing you down the road. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment.